The Eubank name means everything to me. It's what I've been fighting for my entire career. It's come with a hell of a lot of pressure, having that name and having all this expectation. Look at this boy here. They call him Typhoon. Chris Jr. and Chris Sr. Oh yeah, without a doubt, they're both warriors. Yeah, he stepped out of his dead shadow, but maybe years ago. Losing my brother, it was tough and it still is tough. I'm still going through it, I'm still dealing with everything. I know what my brother wanted for me. This year, onto a world title, 100%. The best fighters, 99% of them came from nothing. For me, I could have been anything I wanted to be. A kid growing up in a mansion, going to a private school, it's not the environment that breeds a world champion fighter. Once I went to a gym and started boxing, but they thought, obviously, Chris Eubank's son, he's, you know, he's gonna be able to handle himself. Got my ass kicked the first day in sparring. I'd always been a winner, whether it was a swimming of gala or you know 100 meters or 200 meters. I'd never lost anything, and that's when I knew, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to be a fighter. I was outside the room when uh, Junior was born. I'm godfather to them all, and um, I've had a great relationship with Eubanks. Entirely like his father. He's got his his own mind. You see, people say about trainers, it's not all about showing how to throw a left jab or a right hand or how to do this. Thing. Get their minds right, you've got to keep them happy. You're in my hometown, the great city of Brighton. Born and bred, grew up here, went to school here. You back, you back, you back. I have very fond memories of my childhood. Four kids, my old man and my mum living in a, in a mansion in Brighton. We had cameras around, we did a, we did a reality TV show. National television. Yeah. <laughs> People must have thought we were nuts. So we used to come down here like a, a family kind of, you know, trip, and he was um, an angel. Yeah, <laughs> he was a normal kid, but he was always into sports and athletic. He was always gonna get into something physical. My father was always telling me, no, no, no. Boxing, being a fighter, is too tough. So your boy's going to grow up and be boxers, do you no, think? No, no. I would hope not. Pretty much told me that he didn't think uh, I'd be tough enough. I had to see for myself what it was that he thought that I wouldn't be able to handle. There's a technique for this, I've forgotten how it goes. The technique is you grab it, <laughs> shake and you it. shake it. Everyone wants to beat the U-Bank. That's what I've uh, yeah, come to experience over the years. Uh, yeah, we're targets. All eyes on me from you know day one. You know, fighting, making my debut as a professional on Channel Five, two million viewers. It carries a certain prestige, forces you to have to deal with that pressure and rise up to the challenge. Massive pressure, but if you know how to use that to your advantage, then it's actually a positive. My father's always been a big part of my career big influence, a mentor, an advisor, and he will always be that. Oh! Yes. You can get a teddy from the bottom. Do any of you guys want a teddy bear? That means everything. You know, in a world where um, people will do anything and say anything to get ahead, your family, you know you can count on. Losing my brother, um, it's, it's rough, you know? Never had to go through anything like this in my life before. To have to go into training camps and fights with that in your mind, it does affect you. Knowing what Seb wanted for me, he knew what my dream was. That does push you forward, you know. And I guess that's helped me to to stay focused and to stay in the gym. Having 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 a cousin with me on the journey now, gonna be fighting on my undercards. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Boxing is my life, it, it, and it's my lifestyle. Even when I'm out of the ring, out of the gym, boxing is always on my mind. We're in a fight camp, so yeah, I have my trainer here, I have my sparring partner here. I've got my uh, sports massage therapist downstairs, he's setting up in one of the rooms, and then I'll go across to the outhouse and there's a, there's a gym. I find it's good to you know, get your body used to being active at night time, because that's when you fight, you know? You don't fight at 6 a.m. Sparring, and serving your time in the gym. That's what's got me to where I am. World title fights in becoming the best middleweight in the world. That's what, that's what I set out to do this year. The Eubank name, I'm extremely proud of it. It made me train harder. It made me fight for longer. It made me run further. This year, 
we're going to be on to a world title 100%. You 